You're watching CBS News Los Angeles, The Rundown. Your top stories, the man accused of breaking into L.A. Mayor Karen Bass's home now faces serious charges. L.A. County D.A. George Gascon burglary and vandalism charges against a frame hunter. Gascon also says he believes the 29 year old suspect specifically targeted Bass. The mayor and her family were not hurt during the Sunday incident. Hunter pleaded not guilty and remains behind bars. He faces up to 13 years in prison. Meanwhile, LA Mayor Karen Bass is in Sacramento for the Big City Mayors Conference. It's a meeting of the 13 mayors from the largest cities in our state. And they've gathered to work on solutions for the homeless crisis. The state dollars we get from HAP is absolutely critical. In LA, we were able to move more than 20,000 people inside last year, and this is critical funding to our efforts to provide interim housing and services and permanently house thousands more. Now, the mayors of Long Beach, Riverside, and Irvine also attending. The mayors are calling on the state to make homeless funding permanent. We now know the name of the woman killed while riding a metro train. The LAPD says tonight 67-year-old Myrna Souza was stabbed to death at the Universal City Station. KCAL News reporter Tom Wade is working on this story tonight. I'm Tom Wade at the metro station in Universal City where that horrific stabbing took place yesterday where a woman who was on her way to work was stabbed to death by a man who has a criminal history. He was arrested about 30 minutes later. We still don't know why this happened. It appears to be a random attack. Uh, a lot of questions today for the chief of police. He appeared to, with the police commission and spoke about the issues of safety on Metro and talked about how important it is that the patrols continue. He said they have a number of patrols. Of course, it depends on the timing, uh, but he said that officers are out there. They are guarding the Metro as best they can. And certainly it is a situation that is just terrible. And the police chief expressed great sympathy for the family and friends of this woman who apparently was just on her way to work. Uh, very sad situation. And again, this man, the, the person who carried this out did have a criminal record and riders of course very concerned about this there's been ongoing safety issues on metro for some time now and really right now riders just want to see more security a safer space tonight we'll have more on what the uh, police chief had to say and a little bit more on this woman who was killed and turning now to our weather the clouds aren't leaving us just yet but there is some good news for our weekend let's go to danny roberti now for your next weather forecast Hi, yeah danny. Susie, we love good news for yeah. the weekend i promise you it's coming so we've just got to get through uh, this marine layer the cooler temperatures this week and we are still seeing it out there a lot of you had the sunshine uh, but take a look from mount wilson we still have these thick clouds just hovering. It's like a blanket. That's the valley out there, but you're not seeing anything because we are still socked in with the clouds in some areas. Let's talk about what we're watching and what's next going into the next several days. So we are going to continue to see this patchy morning fog and drizzle, and this is going to last all the way into Friday. Best chance for showers. It's really going to be Wednesday night going into Thursday morning, and then it's sunny, dry and warmer going into this upcoming weekend. Let's talk about the weekend before getting to the clouds. So look at this. This is for LA and Orange County. We're talking low to mid 70s Saturday and Sunday. Typically this time of the year we're in the low 70s. So this is right on target for how April is supposed to feel or normally feels like. But it is feeling a little bit different out there because we have this very classic pattern that we normally see when we get into May and we start getting all this May gray. So here here's this big trough of low pressure. Uh, this is just west of central and southern California. And this is what's keeping that sea breeze going. And so we are going to continue to see the marine layer. We're going to continue to see the drizzle going into the mornings and even the cooler temperature. So waking up tomorrow morning in the valleys, low to mid 50s, mostly cloudy skies. It does look like our Wednesday is going to clear out a little bit quicker than today. We'll reach the 60s again in the afternoon and then clouds start to take over again Wednesday night. Highs for everyone feeling cooler than normal. Uh, we've got upper 60s in San Bernardino, 68 in Chino. How about 65 over in Santa Ana? We're talking 66 in Santa Clarita and you're going to stay right there through downtown Los Angeles, only reaching 62 near LAX. So let's talk talk timing of the clouds and when we will get some sunshine. So waking up tomorrow morning, you get out, get out the door between 630 and 7, mostly cloudy skies out there. It's going to be one of
of those days where we see reverse clearing. So first we're going to clear at the beaches and then we're going to clear in the valleys. 930 in the morning time. We're actually going to start to see some sunshine. Few clouds hovering through the San Fernando Valley around noon, but then we're actually going to get some sunshine. More clouds take over the Wednesday night going into Thursday. This is when a storm passes by over us. And so the drizzle that we see Thursday morning, this is going to be a little bit more widespread. Some light showers popping up, sunshine in the afternoon. And again, Friday morning, we wake up to the clouds. But once we get to Saturday, the marine layer is out of here and we are talking sunshine. Coming up on KCAL News at 8, we are going to break down for you the next seven days and go in depth on your upcoming weekend. That's next. Susie. Okay. Sounds good, Danny. Thank you so much. Young great whites are here to stay for the same reason many of us do. Well, they love our coast. KCAL News reporter Leslie Mudeen previews a new study tonight. Sharks may be more like us than we think. Sounds crazy, right? Well, a new study out of the shark lab at Cal State Long Beach found that juvenile great white sharks prefer the coast of Southern California. That's because they like the warm temperature of the water and they like the shallow water, which means most are being found about six feet from the sand where many of us swim. We enjoy the water. We may go paddle boarding. So we're, tonight we're speaking to some of the scientists behind this first of a kind research. Also, why they say that more of this research needs to be done in order to keep us safe in the water as well as the sharks. That's all coming up tonight at 9 p.m. And this has been CBS News Los Angeles, The Rundown. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back live on KCAL News at 8 here on CBS News Los Angeles.